Hi, you have Marie here from otter.ai and I will be showing you otter for teens on a mobile device. Um, I'm using an iOS iPhone 11 um, and otter for teens is specifically made for work environments and education institutions. It provides additional user and data management, enhanced collaboration tools and additional security features. To start recording, I would press the blue mic on the right hand side um, and it'll start recording instantaneously um, and in real time. I can also change this title here. Um, also in a live environment, I can share the plus sign. Um, I can share this conversation with in a private email um, or I can create a public link where I can share this link across Slack or any um, web-based web -based software. Also in a live environment, I can highlight by select a piece of text. Um, this menu will, will appear and I can highlight. Or um, since mobile is a smaller screen, we also have an additional feature called lazy highlight on the lower right hand side that looks like a pen. And it will, when I press it, it will then highlight the last sentence. So it makes it much easier to highlight on a smaller screen. I can also comment, so if I select a piece of text, I can comment, which will um, create more like action items for myself or for people on my team. I can say this is due Friday, and add this comment. Um, if I select the icon, it will then show me that I have a comment as well. Um, I can also add a photo, so adding a photo makes your notes more referenceable. Um, this works great for a classroom setting where you can make, where you can take a picture of a whiteboard, um, or if you're in a meeting or a conference, you can take a picture of an agenda. If, if I were to press stop, the recording will process in our cloud with our proprietary speech model. Um, it will apply auto corrections and also speaker separate and speaker identify. Um, so I'm gonna go into an old conversation I recorded earlier today. Um, in the very top, the pen, I can edit a conversation. So if I want to move the speaker break here or change a spelling, I can do so as well. Press the green check mark when I'm, when I'm done editing. The blank icons is where you can tag a speaker. So it'll, um, if I can add a person's name. If their person's name is not there, um, I can still tag them. Um, basically, uh, speaker tagging, um, it, the more you teach the, uh, the AI, the more it learns. Um, so um, you need to tag a person's name a, a couple times in order to teach the AI that person's voice print. Um, and in terms of highlighting, it will you can use highlights, um, the highlights that we, we did in the live environment as a meeting summary. So I can highlight, I can just review the, the highlights or the important moments of the lecture or conversation. If I press the three buttons, the three dots, I can also export this transcript, um, export the highlighted areas or the important moments in a text, PDF, or Word document. I can also share this transcript in a private email as well as a shared link, similar to the live environment setting. If I select the three dots at the very top, I can also export the entire conversation, rematch speakers, high timestamps, and also create a word cloud. So like a summary um, and keywords that were said during the conversation. Um, at the very top of the conversation, there's, we, we have a summary AI that provides, um, that automatically generates a summary of keywords or topics that are said throughout the conversation. If I uh, click on, let's say the word comment, it will then jump to that section of the conversation and highlight the word comment. Also, the AI allows all your conversations to be searchable. So at the very top in the search field, if I search privacy, it will then show me um, that I have nine results where I talked about privacy. Um, and then I can also um, drill down into that conversation and it'll highlight the word that I was searching for. 
which is really helpful for students that um, you know have lots of classes and need to search across our notes or if you have weekly meetings in your department at work it makes it easy to search across all your car all your meetings um, in one place if I um, when I click on the three lines at the upper left hand side um, it opens a menu so I can if I click on my my name um, it'll go to my settings <clears throat> where I can connect to cloud storage so we have a direct integration with Dropbox. You can pull files from Dropbox and save back to Dropbox. You can also uh, connect your calendars, Google and Microsoft Calendar. <coughs> and it will also allow for one tap recording um, on, Otter, on Otter if you have your notifications on for Otter. I can import my contacts. I can also add um, unique words or phrases. Um, we've taught the, the AI a number of English dialects and also English spoken as a second language, so it does really well with transcribing um, accents and um, our accuracy is leading in the industry. But for words that are not in the English dictionary, um, like acronyms or company names um, or people's names, you can also add them here. At the very bottom, it has an ad where you can just cut and paste terms um, and phrases. Um, under team, you have 800 words that are shared amongst your team. And for personal dictionary, this is only um, associated with your login, and that's an additional 400 words and phrases. Under support, we also have tutorials on mobile. And then we also have an FAQ um, for any of the commonly asked questions. Uh, there's a video that will appear here that has a summary or introduction to Otter. Uh, you can also contact support directly from your mobile app as well, and or you can also email directly support at otter.ai. Then going into the platform, you have my conversations. Those are, those are the conversations I created, shared with me or any conversations that were shared with me. And then groups acts like a direct channel. Um, or direct message so I can name this you know Monday meeting sales I can create that and any time that I record within this group it will automatically share it to that same group of people so that in this group um, there is one other person um so when I record in this group it'll automatically share with that person Folders is for your personal organization. You can create a group or create a folder, um, whether it's a topic or a subject or department. All conversations um, or any conversation that you've created. And then you have your trash folder and then additional settings here.